call the game that you got. You still watch a lot, don't you? I do. I do. I'm, I'm a big fan. With that road trip behind them, the Lakers ready to perform in front of their Los Angeles fans. They're faced now with what is probably the easiest part of their schedule. They've got a lot of home games on the docket, but they can't take anything, guys, for granted. Well, this is a nice stretch for this team because they get a number of games at home and it gives them a chance to make up some ground in the standings. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. ABC is out there with Okafor. Then it's Brandon Ingram. Then it's Holiday, And it's Ball in at the one spot. And for those of us who have never played at this level, it must be a thrill to contend against the best in the world. And also with that comes a lot of pressure. How do you handle the balance between enjoying the game and the pressure that's on you in the game? I don't really, I've never felt pressure. Hmm. Uh, I don't really, I'm not really sure what that is. I mean, you'll have moments where you'll make game-winning shots, and it's fantastic. Never, ner never nervous? No, no. There's times where you'll miss it, and then people won't like you very much. Mm -hmm. But then the next game, you hit a game-winner, and everybody loves you. <laughs> and then you miss the next one, and everybody doesn't like you again. <laughs> right? So why would I stress out over, quote-unquote, pressure? It doesn't make any sense to How me. How about the responsibility to your team? Oh! Oh. And the best part of that sequence wasn't Holiday's steal, but his quick decision to push the ball and start the break. That's when the D's most vulnerable, and he took advantage. That instant replay brought to you by Under Armour Hover Havoc, giving us a chance to relive the unleashing of chaos that time. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Earlier, David Aldridge had a chance to speak with head coach Alvin Gentry. D.A., what'd you find out? Well, Kevin, when I asked him about the defensive game plan, he said they have to clog up the middle and deny clean looks at the basket. If they can do that, he thinks they'll have the upper hand. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. Kuzma kicks to LeBron. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one is on holiday. And LeBron enjoys fooling the D right there, tricked them, got them in the air, and then gets himself to the free throw line. Free throw good, James. Well, Kobe, you're known as one of the greatest Lakers of all time. I know you feel there are a lot of guys in that in that first line <laughs> of the sentence, right? No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Guys that I've watched growing up. I mean, I, listen, I, I go all the way back to the days of Pollard and Mike in, and you know, I've watched them all, uh, let alone the Baylors, you know, the, the Chamberlains, the Jabars, the Worthies. Wow. I mean, it's just... What names? I mean, what franchise has those? No one. Right? I mean, if you look up in the rafters and you see all the jerseys that are hanging up there, they're not some of the all-time Laker greats. They're some of the all-time greats, period. Right. Right? And so to be a part of that franchise is just mind-blowing. Here's Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Now, very few players as good as Anthony Davis is on the inside. Just great footwork, and he's adding more and more to his postgame. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers in their last game, a loss to the Nets in Brooklyn. Ball kicks to Okafor. Green against Howard. Out to the right wing. Just five on the clock. Let's go. Ball no good. Defense has to feel fortunate. Somehow he missed that opportunity, and still there's no reason for them to give up that kind of open shot. Drills the three-pointer. I mean, it looks simple, but LeBron makes it look that way, Kevin. For New Orleans, they've gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight to the middle. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Feeds it to Davis. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Cousins inside. Covered by Okafor. And Cousins gets it to go. Kobe, you love to take over a game. You're scoring everything you did. Who are the players you face, though, who held their own against you defensively that were always something maybe yeah. you really enjoyed playing because you knew they were so good defensively? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony Allen he was my all-time favorite to go against. I loved going against a Tony monster, Allen. Huh? He a monster, huh? A monster. Well, he didn't ask for any help ever. It wasn't like, I'm going to send Kobe down here and come for the trap. He wasn't asking for help. He was like, no, me and you. 
No matter how many times I hit him, no matter how many times I scored him, <laughs> he was still there every single time. And uh, I loved competing against him. Raja Bell as well. I loved competing against Raja. Yeah, there were some battles with oh, you yeah. and him when he played with Phoenix. Yeah, because I mean, there was no back down yes, there, right? None, Eric none. Snow, Bruce Bowen, I liked a lot. He played the game differently. He tried to frustrate you and all these things. So I was fortunate enough to go up against some really top defenders. Kawhi, I didn't get a chance to see much because it was later in my career. That would have been a good matchup. I would have loved it. <laughs> And while we have a moment, let's check the stats for DeMarcus Cousins. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. He's getting around 20 points per, seven rebounds, and two assists. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. His instincts naturally are to score the basketball. That ability to find the creases in the defense is something you just don't teach, and it's awesome. Kobe, a lot of guys, once they stop playing, their bodies change. Yeah. Yet they still have the ailments. That, That's generous. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but a lot of guys have ailments that, that linger on yeah. th through their post-career. Uh, what kind of workout? We know you were just a workout fiend when you played, but what about now in, in, uh, in retirement? I work out hard. Do you? you know, yeah, it's, uh, it's become a challenge. To say Because most players, when they retire, say, you know what, I just don't want to gain a, a boatload of weight. Mm -hmm. Right, and so they just try to try to manage that. I don't want to manage something. I want to attack it. So I'm going to say, you know what? Well, that's a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. revelation. <laughs> um, and so I said, I'm going to train harder than I ever did because I want to. I want to look good. I want to be fit mm -hmm. for my children. I want to be able to chase them around. And, be able to show up at some of these retirement ceremonies or some of these other things. And looking like you did when you played. Being in great shape. Yeah. So. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10 on difficulty, that's an 11. LeBron passes to Green. Back to LeBron. Now, here's Kuzma. Defense is right there. Six on the shot clock. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. For New Orleans, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Pass to Redick. Holiday against James. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Holiday's got five now. Great focus from Drew there. The D was all over him, but it didn't seem to affect his. Oh! oh. Uh, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim, that time on display. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. The pass to Reddit. High arcing shot. The Lakers in the lead. Outside, Davis. Outside, Green. Back to Davis. Over favors. No good on the fadeaway. A good game so far as